10 Advice from Niccolo Machiavelli for Young People Who Want to Be Rich and Successful Niccolo Di Bernardo Di Machiavelli was an Italian diplomat, politician, historian, philosopher, humanist, writer, playwright, and poet of the Renaissance period. He has often been called the father of modern political science. Though his name is closely associated with cruelty, cunning, and sometimes evil, we all have to remember the time and era he lived and we must all understand that many of the world's leaders today are as Machiavellian as Machiavelli himself but they hide under religion and morality. Aside from his cruelty and cunning advice, Machiavelli gave some very good advice which could be of help to you if you want to become rich and successful in life. In this video, we will be sharing with you 10 of the most inspiring advice from Niccolo Machiavelli and we hope some of them will help you. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Number 1. You can't avoid war. It can only be postponed to the advantage of others. When I was 18, I had some friends who, like me, wanted to be an entrepreneur. We read every book we could find and attended every seminar we could afford about money and business. However, few years later, when I was 21 and 6 months, we all had to take decisions. None of us had money so they decided to go get a job, work for some years and then start their own businesses. I decided to sacrifice anything and everything I had to start with whatever I had and do whatever it took to fight through. That was over a decade ago. These same friends of mine are today complaining about their jobs and employers while I run my company. What's the point here? Well, you cannot avoid a war, either political or personal. You can only postpone it and that will be to another man's advantage. Now, my friends are complaining about their jobs and bosses because they have become victims of corporate mafias but that never happened to me because I fought when the battle showed up. Listen, today is the right time to make those sacrifices. Now is the time to pursue your dreams. If you think it's difficult today, I bet it will be 10 times more difficult tomorrow. Number 2. Never was anything great achieved without danger Les Brown said, The reason why we are not living our dreams is because we are living our fears. Listen, if you can't endure the heat, don't go to the kitchen. If you cannot take risk, endure tough times and fight through obstacles. Don't even expect success in life. There is no crown without a cross. There is no gain without pains. Number 3. Where the willingness is great, the difficulties cannot be great. I once had a friend who always prayed that God should allow war to happen in our country. You know why? He was in the military. This is strange but true. While civilians hate war, some soldiers see war as a game and an opportunity to show their skills. I've heard several people complaining about how tough life is. But you see, life is only tough for people who are not tough. War is tough but warriors love it because warriors themselves are tough. Robert Schuller wrote, Tough times never last, but tough people do. When there's a will, there's always a way. When the willingness is great, obstacles cannot be great. When you're truly ready to achieve your dreams in life, you'll be too desperate to be stopped by anything under the sun. Be desperate. Be willing to fight for your dreams. Number 4. One should never fall in the belief that you can find someone to pick you up. Abraham Lincoln said, The best way to predict your future is to create it. Too many young people in our world today expect someone else to help solve their personal problems, their parents, rich uncles, or politicians. Don't ever fall into believing that you can find someone to solve your personal problems for you. Nobody cares about you. Nobody. I'm sorry. Number 5. Everyone who wants to know what will happen ought to examine what has happened. Everything in this world, in any epoch, has their replicas in antiquity. 
Just yesterday, I wanted to know what is likely to happen with certain business in the future. Instead of searching Google for speculations, I decided to study the history of similar businesses first. Though many people speculate about the future, the best way to understand tomorrow is to study yesterday. As a young person, you have better insights and wisdom about the future if you study history. This will help you to make right decisions because you can predict where the world is going. Number 6. Nature creates few men brave. Industry and training makes many. One day when I was a teenager, I read about how Michael Jackson was practicing his music and dance for 8 hours every day. That got me thinking because most people thought Michael Jackson was just talented. <laughs> Look, if you're not willing to sacrifice thousands of hours into trying, practicing and sharpening your access, you shouldn't dream of success because that's what it takes to attain mastery. Number 7. All courses of action are risky. So, prudence is not in avoiding danger. It's impossible. But calculating risk and acting decisively. Eventually, we are all taking risk. If you dream and follow your dreams, you are taking the risk of losing your money, wasting your time, making mistakes and failing. If you are a coward and you don't follow your dreams, you are risking ending your life as a broke, ordinary and unfulfilled mediocre. I'll always choose the first option. Number 8. Men judge generally more what by the eye than by the hand, for everyone can see and few can feel. This should be helpful for you if you're an entrepreneur or even as an individual. Your product package is sometimes more important than any other thing. Your appearance is what people use to judge you. Number 9. The first method for estimating the intelligence of a ruler is to look at the men he has around him. Not just the ruler, you are who you associate with. You can be better or smarter than people you meet daily. If you want to be a better person, have a better companion. Number 10. I'm not interested in preserving the status quo. I want to overthrow it. Steve Jobs said everything around us were programmed or made by people who were just like us. If you know this truth, you won't think twice before you challenge any status quo. Everything around you was designed or made by people who were not smarter than you. In fact, some of them were not as smart as you are, so feel free to challenge the status quo. In summary, if you want to be rich and successful in life, don't wait till you become a servant of another man's dream. Go for your own dream. Don't think you can avoid danger, you can only fight through it. Hang around quality people. Be desperate and nothing can stop you. Study history to know the future and make the right decisions. Stop depending on anyone, no one truly cares about you. Mastery requires that you should sacrifice hundreds and thousands of hours for your dream. Make this sacrifice joyfully. Everything in life is risky, so avoiding risk is a risk. Take care of the appearance of your product and yourself because you will be judged by it. Don't be afraid to overthrow the status quo because there lies your greatness. You enjoyed this video, didn't you? We would like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we unpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.